Welcome back to Big Board. Just a quick little look at We Stand Alone Battles of Easy Company expansion for the Lock and Low Tactical System for uh, you know, the Western Front World War II stuff. You know, Heroes of Normandy is probably where this belongs. And uh, kind of an impulse purchase for me. I, I don't play uh, an enormous amount of World War II Tactical but recently, having been reading the uh, untold stories of the Heroes of Normandy, the book, uh, reading that and then playing the scenarios that go along with them has kind of got me in the mood to be playing some more uh, lock and load World War II tacticals. So uh, I thought I'd get this because it's the, the, the blurb on the back here sounded pretty groovy. Uh, we Stand Alone, The Battles of Easy Company. Is an expansion, yada, 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 formed in 1942 and after almost two years of rigorous training, Easy Company, 2nd Battalion of the 506th uh, PIR uh, from the 101st Airborne, dropped into Normandy on D-Day. Uh, yada, 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 by the end of the war, Easy Company was known as one of the best small units in the European theater, and the men of Easy Company have been immortalized in the book and the TV series Band of Brothers. Now their story is played out in the dynamic medium of the lock and load tactical system. The We Stand Alone expansion uh, contains 15 scenarios covering battles from the daring assaults on Braycorn Manor and Carantan in Normandy to the desperate defense of Hell's Highway and the, and the island during Operation Market Garden to the frigid foxholes of Bastogne and uh, Noville uh, during the Battle of Bulge. So, as you can see, lots and lots of fun. Now, what's uh, even more interesting though is the scenarios can be played out individually or in three five scenario campaigns 13 of the 15 scenarios are new designs with two revised scenarios uh, plus a breakwall manner variant three new maps including winterized and revised maps bring the dramatic landscape of these battles to life entrenched German artillery positions in Normandy an elevated dike and blah 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 and you got it and all that fun stuff Awesome. So, sounds good. Great packaging. I uh, had the supportive piece of cardboard in there so stuff doesn't get bent to the dickens. I'm just going to rip the bag that it's in because this is all going to go into the big three inch deep Heroes of Normandy box. And let's have a look. And uh, now here's my, here's my uh, caveat to you all. I haven't looked at this. I haven't got a pre-production copy haven't taken out of the shrink prior to this to have a look at it. We're going to explore it together and we may make mistakes. And if that happens or if this seems like it's uninformed or you think it's about to become uninformed, you should turn this video off now and move along, little man. All right. So introduction, 15 uh, scenarios laid out here. The campaigns, uh, the terrain, new terrain types. Or additional terrain types. Flowers. There we go. <laughs> we had flower terrain questions. I think this rule might have been put in here because I complained about whether that was flowers or not. And what was it and what did it mean? Uh, I don't think they have any impact on the game. Uh, I don't really know. Now let's see. Holland is known for their tulips and fields of tall flowers. Flower hexes are also in Heroes of Normandy. And listed on the tech. Okay, so maybe they do have some effect. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that was a funny comment though, because yesterday I was talking to David Heath and he was giving me crap about the fact that I was asking questions about the flowers. Okay, clarifications on fanaticism. Then the campaigns, the scenarios for each campaign. Mark Gun campaign, Normandy campaign, and then the Ardennes campaign. All right, here we go. You can build your own hero. Interesting. In the Heroes of Normandy counter mix, there are four 101st heroes, Herd, Ash, Unitas, and Escubi. Uh, traditionally, Herd and Ash are the heroes uh, for the Paris. However, use all four when playing the campaign in We Stand Alone. Uh, okay. Okay, so then there's some rules. Very cool. Okay, 
The following rules also pertain to your personal hero. And there's uh, six points here that cover off on the personal rules. The rules for personal heroes, very nice. That looks like a great way to get uh, involved. You can be the big board hero. Hilarious. Right, uh, campaign points and victory. So we'll let you know how to work out whether you want or not. Ah, introduction of some faint fate points. Winning a scenario should be worth something. Winning a scenario should be worth something on the side. American or German that wins earns fate points, which can be used in subsequent subsequent scenarios. So it sounds very similar to the Nations of War concept of fate points. No need to get into that sort of detail. Some specifics for the Ardennes, and then you've got uh, all the scenarios laid out in their usual fine format. Sorry for the uh, grass blower in the background there, leaf blower in the background, if you can hear it. And <clears throat> the way to Carantan. Now, I don't know if some of these have, uh, already were already covered in other games. I assume they have not been. Or maybe they were in another module, I don't know. So anyway, lots of stuff in here. I'm not going to go through every single thing. Uh, let's see. There's a variant for Rancor. That's very cool. All right, so there's that. Let's have a look at the maps. There's a fake point chart. Track. Dealing with your personal hero. Campaign outcome tables. Maps. So we've got map 54. And then the larger, uh, these double-sided, yeah, these are double-sided. So ooh, look at the heavily wooded terrain. That's obviously gonna be for the Ardennes. Pretty cool, that was nice artwork on that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on that for you. Well, they look cool. I think they look cool. This is the other side, summertime. Very nice also. The shadows give it a little sense of uh, three-dimensionality. Here's the second map. This is map 65B. And there's the summer version of it. Oh, nice. All right. So you've got, uh, this guy says 15C. No back on that guy. I guess that must be 15, maybe that's from another module. I, I don't know. Once again, look, flowers right here. David Heath, flowers. Map 67, big open terrain. Look at that bad boy. That would be fun to play on with tanks. Very cool. All right, so that's the deal. And, uh, oh, this is a, oh, this is the Normandy uh, the, the flat gun pits, I guess. See? There's a trench here, and they're the 88 millimeters or whatever. So there you have it, that's it. I just thought I'd share that with you because uh, I was excited to get it. It, it literally was uh, quite the oops, impulse purchase there, but I'm glad I did. And this opens up a course and has uh, everything that you just saw on the two charts in, sort of connected up there as well. So. Nice, nicely packaged, nicely produced, and of course an, another stack of, of maps now for this system. All right, cheers. Thought I'd share that with you real quick. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.